okay, the year 10 class have been studying enzymes as part of their biology course. And one of the components of the course is learning about experiments to show factors that affect enzyme activity. So in this experiment, what they did uh, the other day was immobilize yeast in a silica gel. So what that means is you mix the yeast with a gel and that makes a little bead and the yeast actually sits in the bead. With enzyme experiments, enzymes are never used up. So you can use that bead again and again. What they had to do next was test the effect of enzyme concentration on the rate reaction of sucrose to glucose and fructose using the enzyme sucrase and the yeast is the organism that secretes the sucrase. So in this part of the experiment what they did was they put different amounts of beads, the beads being the silica gel balls with the yeast in, put different amounts in different beakers in the same concentration of sucrose, left it for five minutes, and then they did a Benedict's test on the amount of glucose that was produced. So the Benedict's test uh, is if there's reducing sugar present, it will change colour, and glucose is a reducing sugar and sucrose isn't. So what happens is the yeast will act on the sucrose, convert it to glucose, and then you can measure how much glucose has been produced by how long it takes for the Benedicts to react. And that's basically what the experiment was about.